I have gathered way, way too many materials. But now it's time to head over and get this thing built. This is the pillager outpost I have located. It is many blocks from spawn, but hey, what choice do we have at this point? The first thing we obviously need to do is find a village and a villager. But you know what? Let's free this iron golem so he can wreak some havoc. Future Isaiah here, I'm going to greatly regret this decision actually. That took way longer than it should have, but we have a villager in the middle of an ocean, so it's probably time we start constructing this thing. And I know it's probably would be really boring for all of you, so I'm just gonna do it very, very quick. This has taken me multiple real life days because it is very complicated, but this thing is finally completed. We have a spawning platform all the way up there. And now it's time to fly over and get a bad omen. But, well, four durability on the elytra is not going to cut it. So I guess we're swimming. There, finally, a pillager captain. It has taken so long to find this guy. Simply because the iron golem, that if you remember I freed, kept on killing the captains that would spawn in. He was very ungrateful. So it's possible I might have killed him. Okay, I didn't kill him, that would be cruel. But I did just kinda like, push him into the ocean. And he'll stay there forever, I guess. So maybe it's worse? Here is the massive farm, slowly coming into view. This is the moment of truth. Either it works, and I have unlimited totems and I can basically never die, or it doesn't work, and I get attacked by almost every creature, and I die. Whew. No pressure. No pressure at all, right? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. Right now, I'll try to explain how it works. All of the raiders are spawning on that platform, every single wave, which means the game thinks I beat the raid, which means I can get another bad omen. The bad omen then allows me to start another raid at the end of this one. It spawns all of the waves at once because the spawn platform is so far away from the villager that whenever the raid it spawns, it, the game thinks, oh wow, there's no pillagers here, they must have all died, you must have beat the wave. But in reality, they're just kind of far away. And you can see one raid, it's a pretty good amount of loot, and I definitely forgot to put that carpet back, it got knocked off by my water at one point. Now, if I would like to spawn another raid, it's pretty simple. All I have to do is jump down this chute right here and bring me in range of the villagers starting another raid. And then I fly up the tower again, the raid starts, and we repeat. This, that's why this is a super OP farm. It just keeps going. The boat all around are in case a vindicator or a boker, I guess. Spawns Vex, just in case, they'll go in the boats and they can't move. I will eventually set up an auto sorter for this thing. I haven't yet because I am completely out of redstone. I used it all on this farm and the sugarcane farm, which by the way, if you haven't seen it yet, you should check it out right here. 